Hey, I'm Tim the Milkman and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Hey Darwin. Yeah. Member of the Creepers Car Club. Exactly. Thanks for bringing your truck out, buddy. This this truck was amazing, man. That thing is clean enough to eat off of, sir. Yeah. Thank you. I know you got a story about this thing. Well, yeah, it's a pretty uh, unique truck. It, it is. It started it started out as a 1938. Oh, really? And uh, which is totally different look than what you're looking at now. It's got a 1940 front end. Yeah, on I it. was about to say it looks just so like a it's 40. A, it's kind of a hybrid. It's a 38 slash 40 truck. Wow. And, uh, Looks like a lot of time went into building that thing, man. A lot of time, a lot of uh, fabrication. I'll bet. Uh, there, a chunk of change sitting there, buddy. Yep. <laughs> that's, yep. that's to be appreciated. That, that There's some craftsmanship went into building that thing, right? That's true. Oh, yeah. So you uh, you do a lot of work on it yourself? I, did, I didn't. Uh, I tore the truck down when I got it. My mm -hmm. father-in-law gave me the truck. Yeah, okay. And uh, so I took it all the way down in my garage. Mm -hmm. And then I hauled it uh, piece by piece up to T&T in yeah. Holly Springs. They're the company that builds uh, hot rods. Oh, yeah. And uh, they pretty much took it from there. Okay. Of course, I made all the decisions on it. And, yeah. But uh, they you had the they idea, all, right? I had the idea yeah. and uh, and the checkbook, and they gotcha. uh, they did the work, and a lot of craftsmen up there. They did a great job with the truck. So, so, what kind of motor are we looking at here? What is that? That is this... Ford Racing 302 GT40. Okay. Aluminum heads. Yeah. Uh, 345 horsepower. Here, polished Elder Brox. Crate engine and. Mm. Uh, it's got plenty of get up and go. Yeah, you got AC on it. You're loaded here, man. Nice yeah. uh, headers and. It's got about everything. Yeah, that is cool, man. Very nice. Huh. Wow, that's amazing. So the frame looks just as good as the top side of the truck, right? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. The frame was built by Fat Man okay. up out of Charlotte. Gotcha, yeah. And, yeah, I'm uh, familiar with that. Yeah, it's got the Mustang 2 front end on it. Mm hmm. And it's all forward. All. Uh, wow. All. Uh, steel love those fat fenders man yeah man nothing like them nothing like those fat fenders <laughs> man that's a pretty cool color is that a is there a, a name on that color the bottom is brownish orange mm -hmm. it's a standard nissan color oh nissan color the uh yeah. top is mystic gold which is a standard toyota color okay <laughs> all right mix it mix the two together man you got one wild looking ride that is cool nice custom and the interior uh, that interior, interior looks outstanding interior was done by m and m uh hot rod interiors over in alabama okay and uh they, they did a great job with it they sure did that thing's really nice and clean on the inside all right uh i appreciate you bringing it oh, out man yeah. Good deal. yes Thank sir you. Love to have y'all Creepers Car Club down here, man. Y'all got some really nice rides. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, in it? Got a great stable of cars. Really yes, do. Yes, sir. And the Creepers Car Club is out of? Uh, well, Smyrna originally. Okay. Uh, Creepers was uh, founded in 1960. Okay. Uh, oh, so yeah, been around a long been time. Over 50 years yeah. now. And uh, started in Smyrna, Georgia. I think most everybody lives around in the Cobb County area. Yeah. So, uh, okay. good good group of guys. So you know the people in the Romeos car club too, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have a lot gotcha. of guys go to the Romeos yeah. every Tuesday. So. Well, all right, man. I appreciate you bringing this thing okay, out. Buddy. Thanks for showing it to us. Sure thing. You have a good day, sir. Okay, y'all take care. All right. Now I came up there and found this guy. Hey, Rick. How you doing? What's How going you? on, Rick? Pretty good. Hey, man, what'd you bring for us to look at? What is uh, this? It's a 41 Ford uh, Coupe. A 41. Business Coupe. Yeah. Uh, I found the car in 1989. It's, uh, it had been sitting in a chicken house from, since 1957. A chicken house, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, and, boy. And I bought it from a gentleman that had bought it and started on it. Yeah. And uh, he had it running with a small block Chevrolet in it. Wow. And then I brought it back and uh, had Kermit Harper put a front end under it and a rear end under it okay. for me. And uh, I finished the car up. So uh, I had it painted and yeah. did most of the body work on it. And now, uh, now this thing's been built a while. You've been, been driving built this thing. Twenty-two years. Twenty-two years. Mm -hmm. Wow. You've been you've been running that big block for how long? Yeah, Twenty-two. Twenty-two years. years. Yeah. Four fifty-four. Now, what'd that motor come out of? It's it's a uh, just a big block 
454. It's got it's a 30 over. Got 11 and a half to ones. Okay. But I had uh, had too much compression, so I had to cut the tops of the pistons off, get it where to run. Wow. On gotcha. pump gas. Yeah. You know. Okay. You hit. Yeah. You did some work to it to get it to yeah, go up and down yeah. the road. It's got a holly on it and all. It's still, mm -hmm. it's an 85 horse big block. <laughs> 85 horse big block. It's one of those. Oh, <laughs> you, but, ain't, you ain't getting too good a gas mileage with this, are you? About 10, about 10, 10 miles, miles gallon. gallon. Yeah. Yeah, you got AC on it and all that good yeah. stuff. Man, that's nice. It's air, power steering, power brake. It's got a Mustang oh, 200, yeah. 8 inch forward rear end. Okay. Got old style, real old style Americans on it, yeah. polished. All right. Uh, so, Rick, you're also a member of the Creepers Car Club, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Been in them for 22 years. 22 years. Yeah. So when you joined the club, you went out and found this thing in a chicken house and started on it, right? Yeah, you had to have a car to be in yeah, the club. <laughs> yeah. So okay. uh, we, uh, no, I found it from a gentleman that had found it in the chicken house. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, gotcha. It's a good car. It's uh, it's been to oh, yeah. Oklahoma City twice, Daytona yeah. several times. So you drive the heck out of this. We thing. just go anywhere. Yeah. There's a little bit of dirt on the motor, and that's oh, yeah. always a good sign. We love those stories of them yeah. people that drive these things. Yeah. That's yeah. not a trailer queen. Yeah. That's you gotta right. you gotta enjoy it. You know. Mm -hmm. That's that's all right, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh. I appreciate you bringing it out, man. Okay, yeah. We got a bunch more to look at, so thanks, yeah. Rick. Ah, uh, y'all take care. All right, sir. All right, man, I found this little yellow coop laying over here for sale, and I had to go find the owner and find out all about it. Hey, what's your name, man? Hey, my name is Greg Greer. How you doing? All right, sir. Now, tell us a little bit about your coop here. You got it up for sale. It looks like you're sporting a little small block Chevrolet in there. Yes, sir. That's a little hopped up 283. Yeah. It's got three deuces on there. Okay. You know, cool. It's done up old school. Got a mild little cam in it that mm -hmm. sounds real good. Yeah. You know, and then... That's always nice on these little coupes. Yes, and it's, it's uh, got a Street Rods by Michaels frame on it. Okay. And uh, the car is a pro-built from top to bottom, and it looks just as good on the bottom as it does on top. It's got a... Nice. A, a Bebop body. You know, and uh, ultra leather interior is yeah. all done old school. Okay. And uh, fun to drive. Oh, I bet it is a blast to drive, man. The uh, the the red and white combination on the wheels just just make that yellow pop, man. That's that looks great. Yeah, it's got uh, Ford Ford center caps and rings on it. Yeah. You know, so and like I said, you know, and that's one of the things that sold me on the car. Right. Oh yeah. Right there. It's and pretty. One of the coolest things that you won't see any unless it's nighttime is the turn signals they're led bulbs individuals that are in the oh, they're, they're in, in the, the headlight the, buckets the, no they're not no, they're, they're, they're not in the spreader bar oh okay i see yeah that's uh, that's you can barely see them in the daylight that's stainless steel spreader bar and it takes gotcha. it is tough work to get those individual bulbs oh, in there wiring that up is it, yeah with the bulbs and all that would be a did you do that no no no, no. <laughs> somebody took no, some time with uh, it street rods by michaels that's a cool that. idea all right and man, so it, like it looks said, great man i bet it is fun to drive so like i said you know it is it is fun okay <laughs> according to your uh, for sale sign there you're uh 34 000, and your number is 770-686-5785 that's right now people on youtube that's where you can contact this guy and he'll he'll hook you up with a nice little hot rod here and the car has no issues you won't have to do anything except turn the key and ride right that's cool it has no issues okay so it's just for real dependable right yes it is you can get in and drive it anywhere wherever you want man go. i wouldn't mind having something like that myself that'll work all right sir thanks for bringing it out and showing it to all us right. thank you so all right. much for having us you got it man. hey man i gotta share this with you people i think i have come up with uh a very rare vehicle here to show you. Uh, what's your name, sir? It's Bob Winchell. All right, Bob. Glad to have you today, sir. Appreciate it. I will, I seen this thing earlier, and I'm I'm going. Oh, oh what's wrong with this picture? Hey. Well, there may not be nothing wrong with this picture because. Tell us about this car. Well, this was the one you could order through your friendly Cadillac dealer in 1976. Wow. And it was sent to a bodybuilder, so and they built 104 of them. So they built 104 of them, and this is an original. That's right. It's an original car, so, yeah. All right. I understand the concept of uh, El Camino, and this is a Cadillac Camino. Is it, what do you oh, call this? A Mirage. A Mirage. Because gotcha. People logically, people said, well, Cadillac didn't make a pickup truck. I must be seeing a Mirage. Right. Okay. Gotcha. This is a very unique vehicle. I, uh, I heard a story a while back about uh, a rare Cadillac that was worth a lot of money. 
and then I come to this show here today and I see this thing sitting here and I was just wondering <laughs> is there a price on this vehicle no it's not for sale. you're not gonna sell it are you not well, today not okay today. got you well you know what if I had it I probably wouldn't want to be selling it either. This, that's a rare vehicle, well, it sir. It came out nice. I'm pleased with it, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It like a deer. <laughs> Excellent, man. Are you local? Marietta, yeah. Marietta. East Cobb, man. Okay, East Cobb. Gotcha. Yeah, they made uh, 104 of these. They made 56 station wagons. I have a station wagon as well. Really? And it's a very nice car. Uh, a fun. Cadillac station wagon. Mm -hmm. Well, see, that's something I ain't never seen either. <laughs> very odd. Yeah, it is. So Suits you... my personality. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, man. Good deal. Well, it always makes for a good story. Thanks for bringing it out, Thank Bob. You. We Thanks appreciate you, buddy. Good luck. Thanks. All right, sir. All right. Now I found this, this beautiful little Chevrolet sitting here. And as you know, I'm a Chevrolet fan. The milkman's got to get his Chevys on. So... This guy here, JL, he brought a wonderful, wonderful looking car. This is a 31, right? JL? 31. What kind of running gears is it? I get the idea that's not original running gear in there, right? No, it's kind of been beefed up. It's got a 305 Chevy engine with okay. a 350 transmission, gotcha. nine inch forward rear end. Yeah. It's got power steering, power brakes, power windows. Okay, so you've upgraded it so you can drive this thing whenever, right? Drive it any, any day of the week, Man, anywhere you want to go. That's nice to be sporting around in a beautiful car like that. Thank you. Beautiful. That top comes off, don't it? It folds. That's not a removable top. It's a folding okay, top it, Cabriolet. It folds up. Well, uh, Cabriolet. Gotcha. Wow, that is beautiful, man. Did you, uh, what do you do to this thing, man, on a regular basis? You just polish it and go? If they need more than washing or polishing, I don't even want them. Okay. I, don't, I don't build them. I just buy them and drive them. <laughs> I that's, love it. That's the best way to enjoy a car, yeah, man. It is for me. Yeah. Excellent, man. So, uh, wow, you're a member of the Creepers Car Club, too? I am. Yeah, you are. This whole okay. row right here, about 40 cars belong to the Creepers Car Club. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And you're uh, you're sporting a little tag here out front of the car. That's what one is, of my hobbies. I buy, a, sell, and trade and collect car tags. Oh, really? Okay. So you're into the license plate thing? Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. All righty. So you, you might know a friend of mine, Craig Chapman. Very you know, well. You know Craig? Very well. Well, I know him. I work with that guy. Is that right? Yeah, I work for... Uh, I got Craig in the business, so you can tell him I said that. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, that's cool. Glad to have you out today, man. I uh, I actually worked with Craig. <laughs> he, good. He's a good old guy. Well, man, I appreciate you letting us look at that thing. That is beautiful. Thanks for bringing it out, JL. Thank you. All right, Thank sir. You. All right, man. Now. Now, we walked up on this shiny little Cadillac here. Well, it's not really little, but I happen to know the owner. And it, this car is truly amazing. A lot of craftsmanship went into it. I know that for a fact because I know the guy that owns it. Jerry, how's it going, man? I'm doing fine. Hope you are. Oh, I'm doing just fine. Good. We, we got to get catch the story on this Cadillac, man. That thing's awesome. All right. Well, it's a 1930 V16 Imperial wow. Limousine. That's a V16? V16 one of 412 made uh al capone had one identical to it yeah the car weighs seven thousand pounds wow uh, <laughs> wow that's a lot of weight a lot of weight Man, we, that's, we call her big bertha that's a lot of car jerry uh, uh what do you call the paint on that thing what, what did you call that the paint is black and the uh matching the uh, darker color is Crushberry. 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 That's beautiful, man. Well, thank you. Thank you. I wanted a, uh, a slight contrast. Yeah. Uh, we put 16 modern body mounts on this car. Okay. Uh, it has two floor pans in it with yeah. three inches of foam between the two. Okay. It has a new LS motor, a 6.0 in it. Uh-huh. It's got a 4L8, 4L60 transmission. Wow. A Buick, Road, uh, Buick Roadmaster rear end. Okay. Got three inch by 12 inch drum brakes on the back. Wow, so this is a cruiser. You can get in this thing and just just, just flat get it, right? Anywhere you want to go. Wow, that's nice, man. Anywhere you want to go. Wow. Uh, the, the interior in this thing is awesome, man. Well, thank you. It's uh, custom made by Les Lockridge in uh, Rainbow City, Alabama. Okay. It's got two air conditions in it. Two AC units. Two ACs. 
Wow. Uh, it's got uh, six speakers in it. Okay. Got backup cameras. Yeah. Got the beepers to go along with yeah, it. Spare no expense. This thing's loaded. <laughs> wow. Well, it's uh, very nice. About one of a kind built yeah, this way. I don't I'd think, say. I don't think you'll meet yourself going down the road. Right. <laughs> uh, they've got it's got Dolly Parton headlights. Yeah, I see that. I was just looking at you. There's another set below that. Yes, those yeah. are running lights down there. Okay. They're halogen bulbs. Yeah. And the headlights are the uh, HID, HED, uh, LED, whatever they call them. Whatever they yeah, call them. Gotcha. There. They're bright, right? Yes, they're yeah, very bright. They're bright. Very bright. And do the horns work? Those are for show, are they? They work. They work. That's the, orig uh, the original horns. We redid them. Gotcha. Okay. Man, that is beautiful, man. Well, thank from you. One end to the other. That thing's gorgeous. All yeah. right. From what I understand, Jerry, you got more than one, right? Correct. So, okay, when we catch you out and about in, one, in another one, we get to see those too, right? That's right. And maybe we'll air them to you. And Man, you, that would be great. You come over and visit me there. I have uh, quite okay. a few more of them. So, okay, so we can come out maybe one day and uh, and uh, real... Certainly, I'd it. be happy to give you a tour. Okay, that'd be great. We might, Give you a ride too. Uh, that would be awesome. All right, <laughs> thanks, Jerry, for bringing it out. Yes, Show sir. it to us. Have a good All day. right, sir. Thank you. All right, bye-bye.